I'm about to complete two years of making videos on YouTube. And as a thank you, I wanted to do a Q&A video. Hey everyone, my name is Kajal and welcome back to my channel. In this Q&A video, I'm answering some of the questions that were submitted. I'll include the timings here and in the description below. So without further ado, let's get into it. first question is from Sam. They are interested in IoT, robotics and stuff related to mechatronics, but they haven't started anything and call themselves a complete beginner into this field. Their question is what should they do to get started and how to proceed? My answer to this question on how to get started into robotics is by doing projects. The reason I say projects, it's a great way to dive in and start doing something. It's a great way of learning making mistakes and also figuring out what is it within robotics that you would like to do. As a beginner, even I thought robotics is just about making robots. But the truth is within robotics, there are a lot of subfields. Making a robot, doing controls, path planning, computer vision, perception, navigation, localization, and so on and so forth. And the only way to figure out what is it that you like to do is doing projects. Now, when I say doing projects, the first one is obviously doing it yourself, be it using Arduino or Raspberry Pi or any other microcontrollers to make a physical robot or do it in simulation with VBots, Gazebo or any other simulation software. The challenge with this one is you will have to self-motivate yourself to do this. So an equivalent option is to participate in robotics competition because even there you're making and building a project. The advantage is that the goal is written out for you. There are deadlines that will help ensure that you actually do the project and don't procrastinate. This is also similar to how some people attend workshops or do online courses. The one thing I would say when you do workshops or online courses is make sure that there is an actual project that you're doing. Learning theory and implementing are two different things. I definitely lean towards implementation because it gives you a much better understanding and more importantly, it also ensures you understand what it is like to work in the field of robotics and figure out if it's something that you want to do. As a beginner, it's also very important to understand if robotics is something you want to pursue. I would say explore as much as you can when you're starting out. In terms of projects, I do have a couple of ideas that you can try out. Line following, wall follower, obstacle avoidance, and many more. I have a list that I'll include in the description below. Do check it out. Sam's next question is how to find which is the best domain for me in robotics. I really like this question. For me, when it comes to figuring out what's best for me, I do two things. One, is this interesting and fun for me? Two, am I good at it? And I feel for both of these answers, it's about doing projects, be it personal projects, competition, internships, or any other way Try and do the things that you're interested in doing to figure out if you're really interested in it and good at it. When I say good at it, it doesn't mean you have to be rock star at day one. Do it for a couple of weeks and figure out if it's something that you're good at and can get better and better with time. Our next question is from Hershol Rokade. I'm sorry if I said that incorrectly. How difficult or easy is it to get into MS in robotics with a bachelor's in mechanical engineering? What prerequisite do you suggest one should be having? In terms of how difficult or easy it is, I think it also depends on which country and university you are applying to. In terms of having a bachelor in mechanical engineering, I don't think it would cause a hindrance in terms of getting into robotics. Robotics is a combination of mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, computer science, and a few other fields. So having a degree in mechanical engineering doesn't make it difficult for you to enter robotics. That being said, what specialization you want to do in terms of robotics with the mechanical engineering background might be a challenge. Definitely fields of controls and building robots is more closely aligned to mechanical engineering background and would be a little easier to get into. The next question is from Saket, Roadmap to Robotics. I really love this question because it's one of the reasons I started this channel, to make it easier for people to pursue their interest in the field of robotics. When it comes to robotics, from what I know, the path definitely leads from engineering. That being said, in your high school, that is 9th grade, 10th grade, 11th and 12th grade, 
you would have to focus on doing courses that will help you towards engineering. When it comes to India, it's expected that you have a background in science to be able to do engineering. So when it comes to your first half of high school, I would say take this time to participate in robotics competition or do your own projects to figure out if you actually have an interest in robotics. Because I know in the second half of your high school, you'll be focused on clearing your 12 boards as well as preparing for engineering entrance exams. The reason I say this, when I was in high school, I didn't know there were entrance exams to get into engineering colleges. And second reason being, when you get to engineering college, you have to predetermine which field of engineering you want to pursue if you are in India. Within US, the things are a little different. You can choose your major a little later into your bachelor's. When you get to engineering college, I would say definitely continue doing projects or even participate in competitions because it's a great way to build your portfolio for jobs and to figure out what it is that you're interested in doing. I would say for the first half of your engineering college, explore. Go into different fields, even if you've already chosen your major, do try and explore all the other options that you have. So if you want, you can change fields. By the time you get to your third year of engineering or at max, the start of fourth year of your engineering, I would say figure out what exactly you want to do. By this time, I would say you should have a plan so you can implement that in your final year of engineering. Be it finding a job, pursuing masters, or starting something of your own. In other words, within your bachelor's, explore at the start and kind of exploit and deep dive into the second half of your engineering. That being said, this is the ideal path. It doesn't mean you should follow this path. I have known one person who only finished high school and has a great job as a robotic software engineer. Secondly, it's completely okay if you don't know what you want to do. But don't let that be a reason. You don't try different things and figure out what you want to do. The whole point, in my opinion, of doing a bachelor's is figuring out what you want to do and then getting good at it so you can pursue the next step in your career. I also want to talk about doing masters in robotics. Now, it's completely up to you if you want to do it. It's not necessary that you have a master's in robotics to pursue a career in robotics. The reason I decided to pursue a master's in robotics was one, I didn't know what I wanted to do until the very end. So to be able to get a better understanding and have a career in robotics, I went for a master's. Second, it is a lot easier to get jobs in robotics in the U.S. If you have done masters in the US, doing a masters in STEM field in the US gives you a work authorization for three years. I also want to make note of the fact that immigration in the US for international students is a lot more complicated than that. If you want me to talk more about it, tell me in the comments below and I'll try to create a separate video on that particular topic. And I do hope my answer kind of helped you figure out a roadmap for robotics. If there's one thing you take away from this video, it is to do projects to figure out what you want to do within the field of robotics. Be it through personal projects, join a club or join a team and compete in a competition or do a workshop or course that has an in-built robotics project. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like and if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.